Welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM, and it's time to talk about the team that is truly in the best form across all of our representatives in the Flow FM network area. In any code, it is the Oyen Rams, and joining me is their president, Dom Leach. Someone's got to get a tanker from somewhere and put these guys out because they are just in the most explosive form you can imagine. Dom, you must be pretty chuffed with how things are going right now. Yeah, thanks for having me, Alice. Yeah, look, we, we are pretty happy with how we're travelling. We, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, but um, yeah, just rolling along nicely at the moment and hoping to yeah keep that going and take some, some good form into the, the little uh, the back part of the year. Well, let's hope you don't get the commentator's curse. I'm sure you won't because uh, you guys are just not able to be matched right now on the cricket field there at Blackburn Park. Some big fixtures last weekend across A and B grade. We'll start with the A grade in the win against Millowa. So uh, tell us how this one went, Dom. Yeah, we had a good win uh, against Millowa um, up, up uh, on their home deck. Um, we were was sent in on a bit of a tricky wicket, um, and we were able to scratch 159. Um, mainly thanks to a, a great knock of 82 from from Connor Schultz, who opened and um, got more than half the runs, and turned out to be a match-winning knock. Um, in reply, we were able to roll Miller all out for 43, which was a, a terrific effort. And uh, Brad Parsons, the skipper, took uh, five for 12 off his eight overs himself. So uh, a couple of really good individual performances there, which led to a, yeah, a, quite a comprehensive win. What was the mood like in the camp after Brad's record-breaking haul the week before, Dom? Oh, look, it was, yeah, it was great. It was great to see Brad really free the arms the week before and score that brilliant century. Um, I guess we all... We all know he's capable of it. Um, it just seemed to be the week where it all came together for him and it was really just rewards for a bloke that um, got the ability and, yeah, been on the cusp of doing something special for a long time and, yeah, it all came together for him to make that 136 knot the week before and to follow it up last week with 5 for 12 just shows his value to the team. And then he went and smashed a few aces on the tennis court there under the Friday night lights in OU. And the guy's just uh, capable of anything, it seems, right now. Let's talk about the B grade, Dom. They had a very big game in the uh, local Oyen area derby against Tempe. How did they get on? Yeah, B grade was a was a really good game by all reports. Um, the young Rams batted first and were able to scratch together 8 for 147, which isn't a bad score down at Tempe. Um like the Brent Morris with 30, Sam Magnusale with 31, and Liam Vine chipped in with 27 towards the end. Got a, a really competitive score on the board. Um, Harry McLean took four wickets, which was a good effort on his behalf. But in reply, it was the, the young Tigers that got the job done. Darcy Cresp and Billy Catnack put on, I think it was 101 for the opening stand, which um, really set up the, the game for them from there and they were able to chase it down. They took it deep enough with an over to go, but they got the runs uh, only three wickets down. So it was a good win by the Tigers and yeah, it keeps their B grade rolling along nicely. There we have it. Well, uh, I'm fairly annoyed I can't be there for the games that, that's happening on Saturday Dom, because it looks like it's going to be a very fun day out. The A grade, it's Tempe visiting Blackburn Park, the Derby, and there's plenty going on. We've got a trivia night happening after the game, and it uh, looks like everyone's really excited for this one. So I gather you're feeling no different. Yeah, we are excited. Um, it'll be great to uh, to tackle the arch rivals on our home deck, uh, both our B grade and uh, Tempe's B grade have got a bye due to a split round, so should be a really good crowd in attendance um, with both sides uh, reportedly at full strength. Um, it should be, yeah, it should be great for people to get along, have a look and hopefully view some, some great cricket and really competitive match. And bring a casserole, by the way, if you are coming along. Uh, but, Dom, before we actually take a look at this game, just let us know what the rivals' form is like coming into this one against you guys. Yeah, th- their form's improving. Um, they had a they were a bit scratchy prior to Christmas, um, but they are on the improve. And I think um, I think with key players like Tate Holland, uh, Ronnie McKay, Ben Mole, Nick Monaghan all back in the fold, um, yeah, they'll be they'll be tough to beat. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Um, 
got a lot of experience there and, um, yeah, they know how to get the job done. So uh, their form's improving and definitely one to watch. Well, as you sort of touched on at the start of the interview, it's all about taking it one week at a time when you're in such blistering form. So I gather that will be the approach in this one, Dom, because you wouldn't want to be slipping up against these guys. No, that's right. Look, no different. Um, it's, it's the same principle every week. Um, it's, a, it's a good batting deck at Owen. Um, not great value for the shots at times, but I think uh, whoever wins the toss will probably bat first, try and get runs on the board. I think either time, either side, sorry, we're looking to post upwards of 200 and, and put the pressure on the other side um, in the second dig. So either way, um, it'll be uh, it'll be a competitive game. Well, it's going to be an all-round, uh, really, really exciting day at Blackburn Park. Everyone's going to be having a very good time, that's for sure, irrespective of the result to an extent given that we've got a trivia night happening right after. So just tell us about the trivia night event. How often do these happen? And uh, what are the sh- kinds of shenanigans that some of the fellas get up to when uh, maybe they enjoy one or two beers on tap? Yeah, well, this is our, uh, our inaugural trivia night. Nick Vine, our, uh, our uh, secretary, he's been chomping at the bit to get the trivia night off the ground for a couple of years and uh, he'll be in charge of of all things come Saturday night so um, if you're free get along Um, yeah you'll be yeah be chucked in a side in a in a team and I'm sure plenty of fun will be had by all and we've got the beers on tap this weekend so um, yeah no excuse I think good weather um, to come down and stay for a good night afterwards. Dom Leach he's the president of the Owen Rams Cricket Club. Dom before we do let you go just paint the picture for us as to how things are placed in Redcliffe's cricket just a little more broadly right now and how you see things going between now and the penultimate stages of this season in 2023. Yeah I think you can only I think you can only judge um, the season to an extent so far and what we've seen. Um, obviously, uh, our boys are sitting sitting nice at the top of the ladder, but um, there are some, some key players that have been out from all sides. Um, and there's been a, an interrupted season to start with washouts and, and heat rules and the like. So um, I, think, I think we'll get a really clear picture over the next probably three or four weeks as to where things sit and who the favourites are going to be come final so um, hopefully yeah hopefully we're there and about but um, as I said I think it'll yeah things will clear up in the next month or so and and hopefully we'll lead into a really good final series for, for all involved. I'm sure you will because the form guide suggests so. Dom Leach the president of the Owen Rams Career Club great to get you on the Flow Friday Sports Show really appreciate your time. Good luck again this weekend. Enjoy the trivia night. The inaugural one certainly sounds like a very exciting day and night to be had there at Blackburn Park. We'll speak to you next week to find out how you got on. All the best and good luck. No worries. Thanks, Al. Thanks for having me. Dom Leach, the president of the Owen Rams Cricket Club. I have no doubt he'd be itching to get out there at Blackburn Park tomorrow and ensure that that great run of form continues for his side. Well, coming up right after this, we're going to air an interview for you with another man in our Fly FM network who's certainly buzzing ahead of what's going to be a red-letter day for the Limestone Coast where football slash soccer is concerned. Huge match coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow in South Australia in a tournament that can truly pit the very top of the football pyramid in the state against the true essence of community football. So you want to hear all about this. Don't go anywhere. It's the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM.